So EA Dice's take on Star Wars Battlefront is finally here in the form of an open free-to-play beta. But is it any good? The first thing you're going to notice when you boot up this game is the presentation. And the presentation is wonderful. Its level of graphical fidelity is undeniable, from the beautiful landscapes of Hoth to the plastic look of the Stormtrooper's armor. Everything here is recreated from the movies with a meticulous attention to detail. Even the sound design is worth noting. Explosions have a distinctly Star Wars sound to them. The blasters of the infantry and aircraft sound authentic, and I especially love the neat sound it made when the bubble shield power-up got shot. While the presentation is phenomenal, the gameplay frankly doesn't live up to expectations. You can play in both third and first person, but if you want to win, you're going to want to play in third person, because you get a wider field of view, and there's literally no penalty to your accuracy for doing so. The gunplay is incredibly basic, you can either zoom in or hip fire, but there's no difference in terms of range or accuracy either way, and you don't reload your gun. If you fire it too much, it'll overheat, and you can do a Gears of War style speed up the cooldown by doing a little timed QTE. This isn't even the battlefield with Star Wars assets that many feared it would be. It's even more watered down than that. There's no classes to speak of, and both the Rebels and Imperials have access to the exact same weapons and perks. It strips out all of the features that made the originals so great. No one has different roles, they're all doing the exact same thing. And the whole time you can't shake the feeling that the map is like completely barren and there's really not much going on and it makes the 40 player limit of the walker assault mode feel really small. And I guess to make up for this the creators thought it'd be great if they'd play the Star Wars theme song at random intervals but like only the beginning first five seconds which usually happens during the most insignificant of moments just to remind you that you're playing a Star Wars game, that you're having fun and oh my god this is so great and I'm gonna tell all my friends to go buy this game and go see episode 7 of my entire extended family. Then there's the aerial combat. The aerial combat is just not great, like, at all. It's actually pretty fucking terrible. It's way too fast, it's impossible to control, and it doesn't help that the Hoth map is too small for aerial battles. Even the way you get your ships is just plain bizarre. You find them as power-ups on the ground, as opposed to them spawning in hangars like they did in the originals. And then, using the power-up actually teleports you in a random place into the sky. This bizarre way of getting into aerial combat doesn't help the disconnect between what's happening on the ground and in the air. In fact, to me, it feels like what's going on up there is mostly inconsequential to what's happening in the entire match. The heroes are also obtained in the same way, a randomly spawned power-up that you hope you get to first, not a reward for the top player or someone on a streak. The heroes also feel and look surprisingly cheap and kind of shitty. The way they awkwardly jump around the map and kneel over when they've been defeated really breaks immersion and kind of cheapens what's otherwise a, at least, visually expensive game. So is Star Wars Battlefront good? No. It's actually quite bad. A shallow, watered down, empty husk of a game that fails to capture the massive and exciting feeling of the originals. But it's not completely irredeemable trash either. It's not broken or unplayable for what it's worth, which is nice to see considering the current state of AAA development and the releases of broken games. It really just makes me wonder what EA and DICE were thinking by putting out this free-to-everyone beta, and seeing as the game is coming out so soon in just a month, this is essentially just a demo. They didn't have to put this out at all, there were already many hungry fans that were just going to buy this game when it came out for the full $60 asking price no matter what, myself included. But now people are starting to have their doubts. Hell, I saw people in the actual game chat talking about how they weren't going to buy this game because of their experience with this demo. However, EA is clearly confident in this game, so maybe they have a different demographic in mind than myself. But who is that demographic? It's not the fans of the original games, or FPSs in general. Then who is it for? 
I'll be really curious to see how this game does when it launches, both critically and commercially, but for now, if there's one thing that's going to stick with me from this experience, it's probably...